This video is going to deal with offline circulation mode in 3.3 Evergreen version. Evergreen's offline circulation interface is designed to log transactions during a network or server outage. Transactions can be uploaded and processed once connectivity is restored. Offline circulation in the web staff client relies on the use of web service workers to store information for offline use. Prior to using offline circulation, you must have access to your production server and register your workstation on the computer and in the browser you intend to use. You must also log in from that browser at least once and visit search, then perform a search for patrons. Search a user for the results and open the patron edit interface. This will allow the offline interface to collect the information it needs, such as workstation information and the patron registration form. The web service workers will refresh the cache every 24 hours under normal use. Offline circulation information is stored via the index database. I'm going to perform that particular workflow now. So I'm going to search for a patron. Use my test account. I am in my test account and going to edit. And we should have all the workstation information saved now. So now we will begin offline circulation. The offline circulation interface can be found by navigating to circulation and then going to offline circulation. The permanent link for the offline circulation is your local system .org forward slash eg forward slash staff forward slash offline interface. And it is recommended that this link be bookmarked on all staff workstations that handle offline circulation. This is the location for both entering transactions while offline as well as processing them later. Again, we are in the next environment, 3.3. Um, this is the playground for testing. When we go to production 3.3, it will be local library system .org. You can see I've been I've registered already, so I have a workstation here and a workstation location. Now, if you are logged in, you will see this tab here, session management, and if you attempt to click on any other tab than session management, you will see a warning alerting you that you are about to enter offline mode. As you can see, we have session management, check out, renew, in-house, use, check in, and register patron. Since we're going to go in offline mode, I'm going to go to check out, and here is our warning box. Warning, you are about to enter offline mode. If you proceed, you will be logged out. Now, during offline mode, you can check out material to patrons. You can renew material to patrons if need be. You can perform in-house usage, um, item barcode, and whatever the count may be by your arrows. You have registered patron here. But we recommend that you do not perform check-in uh, during offline mode because when you check in material and if there's an issue with those material um, then you may not be able to locate that material um, afterwards. Okay. I'm going to grab my test account and place it here in the patron barcode. Okay. So you have your due date area. You can choose a day to day, plus three days, plus seven days, 14 days, or 30 days. Or you can choose your own date, which we are going to do that now. You have a radio button for item barcode and a radio button for uh, non catalog type. Item barcode is stickied, that radio button is stickied. Um, but you can come here and change it to that. And choose a non-catalog type like paperback for, for um, the Cardinal Consortium or something localized if you have a non-catalog type there. And then you can do the arrows to choose how many you're checking out. I'm going to grab an item. As you can see, I can't put it in there because the radio button has not been done. Yep. Now it's there. Okay. 
So now you can see that the checkout button here now is uh, blue and not grayed out, meaning you can actually uh, proceed. But you can clear this area if need be for any reason. Um, if you need to provide a, a strict barcode, which we're not sure why that would be needed, you can apply that. Or print receipt, you can uh, check that box um, and proceed to print out a receipt for your patron. But I have all the information here, so I'm going to check out. Now, I've checked out that item, and it shows me a list right here. I'm going to grab a couple more items. As you can see, since I have not filled this out, that checkout button has been grayed out and blocked. I'm going to try one more last one, but I'm going to miscan this. Okay, so I have these items here on my test account. I'm good to go, and I'm going to save the transaction. So now we're going to go to managing offline transactions or the CUP process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Home button here or to go to my sign-in uh, login page. And what I see here now um, as I attempt to sign in is a box that says Unprocessed Offline Transactions Waiting for Upload, Last Transaction Added at a Timestamp. And that is correct because we have been in offline mode. So now I'm going to go back here to the circulation tab, my arrow, and go to offline circulation. And as you can see, I do have some uh, transactions to process. If you are in offline mode for a couple hours, let's say, or even a day or so, um, you will obviously have more transactions to process. But now we're going to go to the offline sessions section. And you have your session list. And as you can see, there has been multiple sessions done. And this is where the cut process comes in. The cut process is a C for create session, a U for uploading the session, and a P for processing the session. And this will be done on every workstation during offline mode. So I'm going to create session. And you want to give it a good description of name. And hit OK. And as you can see, it populated here in this column. And it gives you the organization where it's located, created by, um, uh, testing uh, 3.3 is what I gave it a description, the date created. Um, you have a zero for upload count because you have not done the upload process. You have a zero for the transaction process because you've not done anything past the upload. And then you have a date completed, which there is no date yet. So you've done the C part. Now you're going to do the U or upload part. And as you can see, you have two buttons here. Um, at this time, the U um, part, the upload part, you can actually proceed, but you cannot um, for the process. It's giving you a blocked out symbol. And once you do that, it highlights that call column. And then I have an upload count of four. All right, and so now if I go back over here, you can see that the blocked out symbol gives me to the upload, so you can't do that now. But you can go to process, which is the P part of the cup and the final process. And so you do that, and then you should start having your transaction populate here, and then you want to refresh, and you want to refresh until you have a date completed. And so I have completed the transactions, I have completed the whole CUP, and that is done. And what I want to do now is go and scroll down, and see my exception list. 
now. Exceptions are the problems that we encounter during the processing. Uh, Miscan barcode uh, of an item or a patron, an open circulation, um, that kind of thing. You have your workstation, you have your type, your timestamp, and what your event or the exception is. One is copy and transit, another is asset copy not found. The page and barcode, if the page and barcode is, is correct, meaning you have all the digits and it was scanned correctly or typed in correctly. On a barcode, it could be correct or it could not be correct, like this one's missing digits. If it was a non-catalog type, your checkout date, your due date, or even a check-in date. Now, at the right of the exceptions list, we have three blue buttons here, um, item, patron, and debug. Uh, clicking the item button will retrieve the associated item in a new browser window. So a new browser window will open up. Clicking on the patron button will retrieve the associated patent, patron in a new browser window. A new browser window will pop up. Or clicking on the debug button will result in a model with detailed debugging information. So looking at the exception list, we have a copy in transit. Um, you know, a copy in transit um, means that that item uh, has already been sent out and you checked it uh, you, um, checked it out to a patron. Asset copy not found. Uh, the item barcode was misscanned or, or, or mistyped. So, but I'm going to want to look at this particular exception here. So I'm going to go to the patron. I want you to click on that button. You come right up here. And let's check out the items. And if we go back here, 7607 is not on there. So what I can do now is I can take this item here and check it out to the patron. And it says, as it gives me the error, there is an open transit on this item, uh, cancel, cancel the transit, then check out. And it's on the account. And this is asset copy not found because there were digits missing for that, which is correct because it was a miscan. And that is all of the things that we would do for offline circulation. Um, again, this was the 3.3 test environment. Um, right now we are using 3.1 and the same um, workflow does apply um, for the most part. But uh, going into 3.3, again, there will be some new features, um, the upload and process kind of thing like that.